Hey friends, it's Doro Kylie with creationcoach.com again and uh, I'm a life coach and I help people to bring mindfulness and insight inquiry into their um, life and relationships. And today we're going to talk about, just for a minute, the benefits of med meditation um, can't be understated and I had a little uh, visual come to me during a meditation thus an insight uh, which happens periodically when you're meditating this I'm a scuba diver and so I had this visual of uh, what it is to go deep sea diving when you go deep sea diving you are going down uh, and the pressure is building you're losing light and it's getting colder and um, and when you are coming up you're obviously expanding, the, uh, the light is coming back, and it's getting warmer. Now, here's my little, my little diagram, there you go, uh, to show that there, within this body of water, uh, you go up or down, and it's going to affect how you're feeling, what your experience is. And uh, you can relate that to... If you're into chakras, you can relate it to the chakras. The lowest chakra is very, uh, very condensed, very uh, dark. Um, it's all about survival, me, fear. Um, and as you work your way up toward the uh, heart in the center there is green. You're sort of in, in the, on the path going up. And of course, all the way up here, you're fully expanded. Um, you're in the light, and um, and it's very and it's warm. There's a more of a feeling of warmth. Uh, so there you go. Now, when we are very worried and fearful f for something, or or very emotional because of a, a relationship problem, our mind is 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 contracting. It's going down. And the more it goes down, the less we can see. Uh, we lose perspective of what's really going on. We're being caught up in the fear, the, the sense of abandonment, and what have you. So it's like pulling a cork down under the water. You're, just, you're so tight around it, you're just pulling it down, down, down. Meditation, you uh, are learning to actually let go of the cork and allow yourself to float upwards again. My father, when we were little kids, my father taught all of us uh, a, a technique in the swimming pool called the dead man's float. And uh, what that is, is um, he said, if you get scared, you're going to sink. And if you can just relax and breathe, you will find that you can, uh, you can float. So, um, that's a great analogy for swimming. Well, it's a great lesson for swimming, but it's, it's also a great lesson just for living your life and how to deal with um, intense emotions. You have to step back uh, from the situation and learn how to relax and breathe. And the best way to do that is to do a little bit every day. They say the best way to learn how to swim is not during a hurricane. So you just take advantage of a little time every day to learn how to focus your mind, let go of thoughts, breathe, follow your breath, say your mantra or a meta meditation and practice floating so that when you find yourself completely engulfed in an emotional situation that is pulling you down, you'll be able to have uh, better luck sitting, breathing, relaxing, letting go of the cork, let it float up. You will gain better perspective. You will see a broader um, view of things. You will feel lighter, uh, warmer, and um, expanded. So that's the advantage of meditation. Um, you get insights and uh, better, better understanding of the way things are unfolding. So that's it. If you get anything out of this video, please give me a thumbs up and um, I will be back. If you have questions, write them in below. I try to get to the questions and answer 
uh, what I can, especially when there's re repeating the same questions are coming up. So thanks very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye.